And hello again, and here I am at my local bike shop. It's uh, now mid-November, it's stopped running for a while at least. The sun's come out, and I'm here to look at a couple of interesting winter projects they've got on at the moment. Um, and also, no doubt, they'll have something else to look at while I'm here. And so here we are in the dyno room, it's all pretty quiet today. This is the usual kind of bikes that they run a dyno. There's a monster there, a pretty new looking BMW RR, an old Bandit over there. Kawasaki and an older um, Vibrade and in front of me here there's a customised CX500 uh, let's just look at that we'll come around here put the uh, tripod down the bodywork's off it at the moment there you go, just refocused yes, yeah, so the bodywork's off it now but the tank you can see on the floor there it's got some pretty low clip-ons um, I believe it came in, it wasn't running too well, if at all, so it's here for some pretty serious work. But anyway, these bikes are not what I'm here to look at, so uh, let's go next door and see what else is going on. Okay, so we've come indoors now, it's somewhere a bit warmer, and here we see on the workbench a Kawasaki fuel tank, a very nice one, and it turns out this tank is from a Kawasaki Z750, sorry, 650, 650, from the late 70s. And it's here because that bike is being tuned at the moment and I can see it over the corner and so let's go and see it. And here it is, it turns out it's on a T-plate which means it's a 79. It's been customised as you can see it's a sort of a, what, what do you call that, a brat style? Yeah. It's got some nice touches actually, it's got a, a full colour exhaust system, Brembo brakes front and back. Okay yeah it's also got a motor gadget M unit on it, which means it's also got the motor gadget um, switch gear, pretty cool. Uh, they look like one-off yokes to me, I'm not sure about the forks. The carbs obviously have been modified, in fact that's what it's here for I think. Yes. It's been on a dyno, it's been on a dyno, because it's been retuned, re, uh, rejetted. rejetted to suit. Anything else that's different about it? Is it still a 650? Is it a big bore kit? Still a 650 as far as I know. So it's obviously got the dyna coils on it and the electronic ignition. Yeah, I must have quite like these uh, YSS shocks. Let's have a listen. Hope it's not too loud. Oh, it's a kickstart. Very nice. Has the engine been rebuilt or is it? I believe it has been. Yeah, it's very quiet, very quiet. Yeah, so the engine rebuilt as well. It's got a blue tank that sits on there, and uh, yeah, pretty good. Look at it. I'll see you on the floor, yeah. Let's see you first, and let's see what's in underneath the seat. Okay, let me uh, refocus there, because no doubt we'll be out of focus now. Okay, yeah, so there we see the all electrics with an M unit. It's like I've got on my bike. Yeah, very nice. But well, actually, I'm not here to look at this particular Kawasaki Z650. I'm here to look at another Kawasaki Z650. Yeah. And, and another winter project, we've got two of them. Yeah. And that's what we're going to look at next. But before then, before then, there's something really interesting that's on your workbench. Okay, so here on this bench, we see a very sad looking... 1989. 89, Yamaha. Yamaha, FZR 600 engine. It's very sad looking because it's come in for some new pistons, I believe and a rebuild, having be I think it's been rebuilt once before or twice before, yeah. but it turns out it needs a bit more than that because, 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 I'm told it had a camshaft that's broken half. The camshaft did break in, well it did break in half, the end and it damaged it. Yeah, let's look at that. There you go, and cap shafted. That looks like a very sad looking camshaft, you can see that, and when that broke, it didn't do this thing much good. No, there's a nice hole in the front of here. Yeah, we turn that round. There we go. We've got a hole. hole there. I can see that. So that's not good. And then from the shrapnel inside, all the buckets are jammed. Oh, the, oh, the jams, oh god. So you can't get them out? No. Nope. So I've got another engine and cylinder head. Right, you're going to get a different cylinder head. Yeah, the, that's plan, that's, the plan was to, with the other engine that yeah. is there, was to get his barrels and pistons out of here. Yeah, and then. Sort of and put the barrels and pistons out of this his original engine, which he had new pistons in. Yeah. But unfortunately, there is some damage yes. to the oil control ring. Yeah, the, one, of, one of the rings is snapped, isn't it? Oh, damage. You can see it there, it's moving. Hang on. I'll zoom in on that because it looks quite interesting. Just a minute. Yeah, as we zoom in there, we can see 
that ring there is damaged, which isn't very good. Yeah. And I'm told in turn, in turn that didn't do much good to the to bore. The bore. No, oh that's... dear. So let's look at that now. Okay, so there's the barrels and there is a very, very deep gouge in that bore. To be honest though, I think you could probably bore that out and get it reboard. Yeah. The there, is, there is an option, but we have another... You've got barrel. a different engine, yeah. it might be cheaper just to get in. Yeah, because I think a reboard is about under 50 quid. Yeah, so okay. the plan is new set of rings for the other engine. Yeah. And then rebuild all the cylinder head, relock the valves in, and away new we go. valve, stem okay. seals. Okay. There's also another Yamaha engine on the bench, with a spin oh, around, yes. that I've seen before. So in the corner, all covered up, all nice and clean and neat and tidy. There's another Yamaha engine, yeah. with some nice brand new pistons, I'm not sure Wisco. what Wisco pistons, yeah. all nicely done. And this is important because this belongs to you, doesn't it, Ty? Yes, it does, yeah. This is going to be the engine for your project, project bike. Yes. And like my projects, they tend to take a long time. <laughs> yes. So this has been going on for, I don't know how long, a year, yes. two years, two, two years, years, I think two years plus, that. that's nothing that, man, I'd take five bloody years. It, well, you were going to do some sort of zombie apocalypse back out of it, but I believe now you're changing your mind and yeah, going to go for a different look. Bit of a flat tracker style. Flat tracker style, yeah. Tracker, and the engine is what? It's not a Yamaha, it's a... It is a Yamaha. Is it a thousand? It's a FZR 1000. FZR 1000? Oh, yeah. quite new for me, that. Yeah. Okay, so having seen that then, let's go next door and see what I'm really here for, which is to look at your two, not one, but two, with the projects. Okay, so now we're in the storage unit, come whatever you want to call it. Bike storage. Bike storage, yeah. whatever. Project Pro unit. Pro project unit, and we go across here, what have we got in here? Uh, Suzuki's, more Suzuki's, SB's. SB's. Yeah, six, uh, size, uh, size zombie apocalypse bike there that we've just seen the engine for. That's waiting for that engine to go in there. A crosser, what's this here? Oh. It's Honda. CM125. Oh dear. And a big thing there, cross tourer. And then, what on earth is that? That's a Yamaha diversion. Diversion with some. Which should have been diverted somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, somewhere else. We well, won't mention that. <laughs> Great big BMW here. But we're not here for all that. We're here for what lies in the corner just over there. Okay, so here's a day to look at two projects, which strangely enough are quite similar in the sense that they've both got the main bike and a donor bike to go with it. And the first one I'm looking at here is a Honda CB 1100 F. F. I could be wrong, but I think that they weren't imported into this country, so it might be an, an import from America. Yeah, I think they call it a Baldor. A Baldor, yeah, yeah, but not that. And it's probably why it's still got its original pipe on it, because it'll be rotted by now. Yeah. What is it, about 83, 84? Yeah, please. Uh, yeah. Okay, and we can see, of course, it's got no front end on it. And the reason why it's got no front end on it and no bodywork is because you are going to do a project to it or with it. Yes. Which is what, Si? Um, make it upside down front end conversion. Yeah. Change the rear swing arm to possibly a ZX9 unit, which okay. we got the donor bike for, yeah, yeah. or a Metsa checks. Okay, expensive. Yes. yes. <laughs> Very expensive. Yeah. Um, brakes, so obviously, yeah, brakes up upgrade, I guess. and uh, Yeah, all the front and off the ZX9 will be going right. on. So the six pot calipers, yeah. um, the upside down forks, the yeah. wheels, bits. Yeah. And then so if I come yeah. around this side, it's actually quite a nice bike. It looks to be in good nick. It's got original pipes on it, no real corrosion or anything like that. It's a nice bike. And next to it is another nice bike, which is a donor. And this is that Kawasaki ZXR9. And I think the reason why this particular bike is quite popular as a donor is because the front forks are quite long. Yes. In comparison to other bikes, other sports bikes which have, which have upside down forks. These are quite long, so therefore they work a bit better on older bikes. That it looks like quite a nice bike. I mean, once the wheels and the forks and the brakes are off it, what's going to happen with the rest of it? It's a possibility for the engine to go into one of our lads ZX7s to get oh, right. an extra 30 horsepower. Oh, but right. Okay. So... Yeah, I mean, as I say, normally you see bikes as donors which are going to be a bit knackered, smashed up, but that actually looks quite a nice bike. It's even got a sticker on the front mudguard there, or on the front uh, forks. It says Maxton, yeah. which implies it's had quite an expensive conversion done to it. Yeah, it's got the Maxton fork. Yeah. yeah, and in terms of time frame then, what are we looking at in terms of getting this thing finished? Aiming for April. April, for spring. Conversion, yeah. yeah. Right, spring, yeah, it's now November, so plenty of time, yeah. except we've got Christmas or whatever, is something behind, or beyond, behind the ZX9, poking its little head out there in green. Yes. 
which is another Kawasaki Z650. And another donor bike beyond it, which is a bit more interesting. Yeah. Okay, so here we have a 1970, what is it, 8, 9? I don't know. Or thereabouts. Kawasaki Z650, just like the one I've got, except this one's whole, at least for the time being. But it looks like, according to the tax disc, it's not been on the road since 0100. Yeah, 2000. Yeah, so it's been 20 years almost, yeah. sat there. And I believe you told me last time I was here, it's owned by the same guy for a very long time. Yes, he's owned it since he was 18. Now old is he now? In his 50s. Well, so he's owned it pretty much from new almost. So he's pretty attached to it. And he's got you to do, what he wants you to do, a project to it, upgrade it in some way. But before we get into that, let's just look at what we've got in front of us. Yeah, it's a pretty standard looking Kawasaki. Z650, although actually that sticker on, on, on the end of the crank there looks a bit weird, looks a bit later. Yeah. But it's not standard because it's got, amongst other things, different wheels. These are, these are not standard wheels. It's got a quite a lot of cool little up upgrades from that era. It's got a, a Telefix fork brace. It's got a, what I assume is going to be a Harris pipe. I believe it is. All yeah. rusty now. It's got the old remote reservoir shocks on it, Marzocchi's. And it's got, for its time, quite an advanced upgrade, a quite expensive Davida alloy swing arm, which are now worth quite a lot, I think, for people who want to do a sort of resto mod and keep the things from the same era. Um, it's also got an awful lot of pipe nuts on it, everywhere, yeah. everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> There's pipe nuts everywhere for some reason, and it's also yeah. been painted green. Yeah, oh, it's well. also got um, the original are they Rask rear sets, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah, again, folks like them. And the reason it's here is because it's going to be upgraded in some way and the donor bike for this thing is behind it which is a bit different a bit unusual it's a hardtail chopper yes it is yeah okay so here is the donor it's got some very long forks it's a hardtail frame and in it unusually is an original i'm told kawasaki gpz 750 turbo engine yes sacrilege sacrilege <laughs> And the turbo's actually not on it right now, but um, so has he bought this just to, for the engine to put into this, yes. or is he? All oh right, so he didn't build this originally. No, this no. is literally just so we can have the engine. He's right. always wanted to put the GPZ 750 yep. turbo engine into the Kawasaki's. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's also injected, of course. So it's a bit more complicated. So this is going to donate its engine. That's not really the problem because it's a chopper, and I believe that engine might end up going in there. Yes. And he'll sell it off for what he can get. Although. I, Looking at that though, actually, that looks like, yeah, maybe, maybe the fork lowers and the wheels are actually original GPZ. Yeah. And then it's had extended. And they've been extended. I suspect it's worth a lot more just without the extension, but never mind. Um, yeah, so the turbo's not on it right now because it's, what? It's, gone. it's been refurbished. It's been the refurbished right original now. The original unit's been replaced with the Garrett turbo. Right. And is it going to keep the Garrett or? Yes. Okay, yeah. it's going to get it re refurbished. And so you're going to take that engine out, stick it in this one. Yes, after it's been refurbished. Yeah, and rebuilt. rebuilt. And then what's going to happen with the engine out of this one then? Is it uh, going to keep it? You can put it on this. Need to assess it for condition. Yeah, so you don't be, the camera's just gone wonky. Bloody thing. Obviously it's not run for 20 years yeah, at least. Yeah, and oftentimes it doesn't run for a reason after 20 years because yeah. it's probably had a problem. Oh, you just put it away, you don't know, do you? Okay, so once we've got the engine in there and it's running okay, what about the rest of it? Um, refresh on old paintwork, obviously. The tank will need doing because it's been sat for 20 years and it's rusty. Yeah, as you have to go. And outside. Yeah, yeah. Um, handlebars will be being changed. Yeah, they're quite high, aren't they? Yeah. What about brakes and whatever? Are you going to keep those brakes or are you going to upgrade them? We might be doing a front end swap on it. Yeah. Um, he has provided wheels and some forks, which All right. we need to look at grafting onto it. Uh, is that what's in the background there? That is what's in the background there. Very green wheel. On, yeah. And what are the forks, do you know? They're all wrapped up. Not off the top of my head. Not a clue, they're all wrapped up still. The current exhaust for the GPZ 750 turbo engine mm -hmm. is about six inches of straight pipe coming off. Right, the turbo. yeah. So a bit we loud. Need to, we need to do look at that. Do think yeah. about that, yeah, yeah. Okay, and again, is this going to be ready for spring? This is, is more of a finish it for the end of next year. All oh, right, next year project's yeah. a bit of a long winded one. Well, uh, you did tell me, I think, that the engine, the GPZ engine, the turbo engine, you're not going to do that yourself, you're just going to get sent off to somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, I'm going to outsource, the outsource that one. To, uh, uh, somewhere in Essex, builders. somewhere? Yeah. So who's, yeah. who's that then? Who's going to do that? It's called the M MCR, Motorcycle Restorations. MCR, okay. 
So again, you might have to wait for that because that guy's been yes. busy no, no yeah. doubt, so yeah. Yeah, okay. the engine's due off to them in December. Right. Um, then they'll come back with costings and then we'll agree everything and yeah. then go from there. Go for it, yeah. So this will sit here for quite a while. Yeah, while the, the engine's off, I will be looking at doing the front end. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe. I think this chap wants some extra checks on it as well. He wants to bin off that swing arm. Oh, right. Oh, shame. Arm shame, because that actually is quite a nice. I mean, it's not as good as a modern one, but having said that, it's period correct. <laughs> yeah. So same with the shocks. We'll be um, yeah, yeah. Hang on, the got... shocks will be getting renewed with probably some K Tech piggybacks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So that's it, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Yeah, it's now time for tea. Okay, so thanks for watching and cheers. Hey.